Right, the next job, I'm going to put the inner timing belt cover on. Got all my bolts marked out so I know exactly which ones are going back. So I've got them four bolts for this. We're going to get that done before we put anything else on. But it may take a while to do because we only get a dry spell for about five minutes and then it rains again. And I think it's literally just stopped raining so I'm going to take this opportunity to go out We'll get this fitted. Um, we can loosely put that on, and then we'll get the timing belt. The timing belt is currently inside where it's nice and warm at room temperature. Right, let's see if I can uh, get the camera out and set you up so you can actually see what's going on. Yeah, so I've gone ahead, put the timing belt on. Uh, I, I put it over the camshaft first, but I didn't actually put it on the camshaft. It was just sort of like just rested up there, so it was kind of in place. And then starting from the crankshaft, I put it around the sprocket there, then around the water pump, then over the camshaft, and then around the tensioner. So the belt is on, correct directional, you know, they're the markings, they're in the right place. Well, I mean, they're going the right way. Everything's tensioned up. I've got to torque this up. Depending on the bolt, depends on the torque. My bolt is the 10.9, so it's 100 newts. So I've got to do that one. Well, the timing key does go in there. But you can't do it with a rocker cover there. Wait a sec, see if I can get it on. There we go. So the timing on the block and the head, both still bang on. So I'm gonna talk this up and then rotate it a couple of times. And then we will check this. I wanna make sure Use the shaky hands. We want to make sure that that is in the same place. Well, it's like it's over adjusted, if anything. It's annoying. Right, so I've just gone ahead and I've retensioned it. So it's now perfect. It was just too hard with the camera and trying to stay out of the way of the light and everything. A lot better now. Happy days. So I've made uh, two full rotations on the crankshaft. So that's pulled it back up to TDC on the bottom end. And then I checked it with the tool. Spot on. And also, you've got to check the tensioner. Oh, you can't see, can you see that? Yeah, the tensioner hasn't moved at all, so happy days. 
Right, next, what I'm going to do is, while I'm down here on this side, oh, it's hard to see down here, sorry. I'm going to put this cover back on, the lower timing belt cover, which just sits over like that there. Next job. Got my new diamond washer to go on. That's going to go in there like that. I can't do it. Everything's hard one handed. Careful, careful. There we go. Right, so I've got those four bolts in. They've got to be torqued up to 20, 20 newtons, and then angle turn 90 degrees. But I haven't angled them, they're just torqued up to 20, because 20 isn't particularly tight. And then we've got the uh, main bolt. It's all been lubed up, I've lubed up in there between the head of the bolt and the washer. Also the thread's got plenty of oil on it as well. And I've got like the two hour process of putting this in. And then once this is done up, it's got to be done up to 160 newtons and then angle tightened by 180 degrees. So I'm going to crack on with this and I'll catch up with you in a moment. So that's that crankshaft tool that I've made. It's not little. And even with that breaker bar on there. Mate, I can't turn it. I've turned it about 60 degrees. So I'm gonna wait till my brother gets back and he can do that. Okay, so making sure that it is still all timed up. I'm just checking here on the bottom end. Um, yeah, just wanted to make sure that I was dead on that arrow. Making sure that the top end's timed up. I'm just double checking everything. So the cam's timed, the main engine's timed, and now what I want to do is, is get that diesel pump sorted out. So we'll get this pump, this belt on, and we'll go from there. All right, so I've gone ahead, put the tensioners on. Um, I skipped forward a bit because my hands are in the way and I couldn't see with the light and the camera. So I had to move everything so I could get in. So everything's tensioned up. From this angle that actually looks like it's over but it's not it's in line um, I need to see how where's my finger there it is this is what I want to see Let's see if I can. oh yeah I lined that up all right happy days all right I just need to talk this up now Right, everything is talked up now. As a result. Now I've got to put this in the old diesel pump. This nut here. So I've got to loosen that and then put that little spacer back in. Everything's minging under here again. It's depressing. No matter how many times you clean it, 
it just stays dirty, even when it's not being used. Right, I'm going to carry on and do this because it's hard work doing it on one handed. Right, it's on there now. You see it just there? Put the phone down. 30 seconds later, all done. All I've got to do now is rotate the engine and make sure all the marks on the tension are in the same place. So I've gone ahead, made all the checks that I needed to, double checked everything. All the tensioners, everything seems fine. So I'm pretty happy now and confident. I don't need to uh, see the camshaft anymore. So I'm going to put the rocker cover on. Yeah, so I've got a new gasket for that to go on. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to lube it all up as well. Put a little bit of oil all around the gasket. Just makes it a bit easier to fit, makes it more malleable and yeah. Just makes sense to me putting a little bit of oil on it. I mean, you put oil on the, uh, when you seal your oil filter, so why wouldn't you put oil here? I don't know. Just makes sense to me. So we'll get this all oiled up. Uh, I'll fit the camshaft cover. I think that's only talked up to 10 or 15 Newtons. I can't remember now, off the top of my head. But I'm going to uh, leave it here. And then next time we'll get the exhaust manifold fitted, the intake manifold. Um, yeah, it's all coming back together. Awesome. And I really do appreciate all your comments all your advice and your support. Everyone's been great. You, you've all been amazing. Um, and if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have been uploading this. So it's your feedback that keeps me going and keeps me uploading and, and recording. So um, yeah, I really appreciate everything. Right, well, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. So take care, stay safe, and God bless.